The following is a recording taken from Bancroft Independent School in London on the 22nd of January 2024. The school allowed a pro-Israeli speaker to present a one-sided presentation of the current crisis in Gaza. The presentation was effectively an attempt to brainwash the young and vulnerable minds. Public or independent schools have a duty of care to present such sensitive topics impartially. The law states, Existing statutory requirements on political impartiality cover all schools, regardless of type or funding arrangement. This includes independent schools. These legal duties mean schools must prohibit the promotion of partisan political views, should take steps to ensure the balanced presentation of opposing views on political issues when they are brought to the attention of pupils with regards to independent schools, the legislation states. For independent schools, the legal duties are set out in Part 2 of the Schedule to the Education, Independent School Standards, Regulations 2014. These requirements also apply to academies. Listen to the following recording to judge whether the principles of impartiality were adhered to. Killed in retaking Mosul, 
tens of thousands of civilians wounded or killed in the process of Iraq, we're witnessing the same today. And in the meantime, there are still 100 plus hostages held by Hamas, hopefully alive, who range in age from minus a year to the 80s. Grotesque. And those of us who know Israel well and know Palestine well realize that in terms of each of the communities, this is gruesome. And nobody comes out of this smelling sweetly at all. And what makes it so much more scary, and that is why Ian Duncan Smith and any politician in Britain is watching the Middle East carefully, is that there are all sorts of nefarious others who are bundling in to stir the pot in the Middle East further. Hence, from the north in Lebanon, Hezbollah groups backed by Syria are firing regularly into Israel, and a crescendo of violence is building there. Yemeni supporters out in the far south of Arabia are attacking merchant shipping on the grounds that maybe some of these ships are coming up the Red Sea towards Israel. Not all of them are in practice, though. That involves you lot, because if ships, containing ships from China, can't come up the Red Sea, up to the Suez Canal, they will have to take a very long journey around southern Africa to bring goods towards Europe, which will increase the costs and inflation and economic problems for absolutely everybody. Not to speak of rising anger by the shippers who say, we're not politicians. Why do we think we're going to be around the stirring its allies and its proxies is absolutely clear to all the people that they are exceedingly dangerous chaos. And whilst I realize that most of us are not directly engaged in this theater of that, there is nobody who has any sensitivity at all to world affairs who is not unaware of the fact that we are living in extraordinarily perilous times. It may be that everybody is shadow boxing and that violence between Israel and Hezbollah or Americans bombing Yemen is all going to be symbolic action, but it could all just build and it could all get out of hand. In which case, guys, not one of you can play on Twitch. We will all be in the deepest possible trouble. This is a wonderful Middle East. Fill us up. Phenomenally complex, there's no possible way in 30 minutes that, that we can do anything but the kind of most kind of superficial overview. In the coming days, we will look to counter this attempted brainwashing and investigate each claim impartially to separate fact from propaganda. This was the responsibility of Bancroft School, but unfortunately, they have failed their fee paying students and subjected their young and impressionable minds to a very powerful propagandist. They failed in safeguarding their pupils, instilling fear with an insinuation of an escalation in violence that would impact the students of Bancroft. We will not go down in Gaza tonight.